On an average weekday, over one and a half million people ride the CTA. Everyone who has ridden the bus or the train has heard the voice, the voice of Lee Crooks. Just in case you don't know what it sounds like, it goes a little something like this. This is Chicago and Milwaukee. This is a full line train. I got a chance to speak to Lee, who doesn't have the most recognized name or face in the city, but he is definitely the voice of Chicago. Very nice. Welcome to the Scott Emo Show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming down from Milwaukee. No problem. So right off the bat, how yeah. did you become the voice of the CTA? No. In about 1997, I got an audition for the, they were casting for the voice of the CTA. So it, it was a straight up audition. Straight up audition. Okay. Just just like you know, one I got earlier this morning. Every every thing that we record is recorded at least three times. I mean, so if it's uh, let me think. Yeah. Let's say the street is Wilson, you know, and they want um, this is Wilson. This is Wilson. This is Wilson. I mean, I'll be standing on a street corner and bus will pull up and go. Monroe, and it's my voice, and it's a little weird. Do you get paid every time you record, or is it a residual? Like, how does the city pay you to be to, to do your voice over? It's for the recording sessions. I mean, I, would it be nice to get every time my voice was, yeah, you know, get a penny? Sure, I'd be very rich. But, um, yes, that would be no, it's awesome. A, no, it's it's a uh, it's considered an industrial narration. Session. I don't know if you knew this, but at one point I didn't want anybody to know I was the voice of the CTA because I was trying to get a foothold in Chicago as a commercial voice. And the very special, stylized voice of the CTA is... They'd pigeonhole you. They would pigeonhole me. Thank you. Yes, exactly. When you were a kid, what did you want to do when you grew up? Well, first, the obligatory fireman. Then I wanted to be an astronaut. Then I wanted to be a scientist. Then I wanted to be a rock star. Nice. Very uh, wide spectrum. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, that's like, for, you know, <laughs> astronaut was nine, uh, scientist was 11. Uh, then I started playing guitar when I was 13. So then I wanted to be a rock star. I, I actually went to school for music. I went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston for a while and the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music. And then started roadieing. I was actually a roadie. For a band in Milwaukee for a while, and a band we would know about. Okay, well, they, they were called Arroyo, okay. but I, nobody would necessarily know who they are. They released one album, and while I was working with them, I said, "Hey, the recording profession might be fun. Maybe." So I went to school for recording, uh, got a hold of some money, opened up a recording studio, and that's what I did for 11 years. I'm Lee Crooks, and you're watching the Scott Emo Show. I'm Lee Crooks, and you're watching the Scott Emo Show. I'm Lee Crooks, and you're watching the Scott Emo Show. Perfect. There you go. I love that you did it multiple <laughs> times too. That's because that's what I do in CTA. Is, I know. is that just what you're used to? Just yeah. It's anything. You know, if I'm doing a 30-second spot, I'm going to do multiple tapes. 